Shri Ganesha Hanumaha, Om Shri Guru Pranamaha. In my previous video, I had introduced one of my esteemed clients, Mr. Swati Prasad. Hello. So, uh, he spoke about his experience with the Madurai Bhujan Yudhuti. Today, in continuation to that video, let us talk to him about his experiences with the talismans that he bought from us. Swati has used a variety of talismans and has found immense results. He keeps giving me these feedbacks from time to time. But when I requested him, out of his generosity, he's made some time today for us just to share what are the talismans he has used. Some of the products he's also recommended to his friends and uh, colleagues, ex-colleagues and acquaintances. And they have also found immense results. Let's hear from him today. What are those products? How it has helped them? And how it has helped him also? Over to you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, as far as talismans, um, you know, I've got a lot from you. I should say everything is working. Yeah, it worked and it, it is working. So, uh, you know, the, the beauty of the talisman from you, you know, where I've done a lot of research and I've worked some talismans before from other uh, uh, priests as well. I said, what? One thing I found from your talisman is, I think it is, like you said, it is arranged by uh, the very Himalayan yogi of a very high level. <coughs> because, you know, every time I get your talisman, uh, you know, the energy is so much the moment I wear it or I touch it, then I meditate on the simple mantra that you do, which is not required actually, that's the beauty of, uh, you know, tantric talisman, you don't need to, but just, you just want to be connected to the deity and the talisman, so you right. feel, you know, chanting the mantra really helps from that perspective. <coughs> but then the talisman, the, the day I receive the talisman from you, this is real, some of the talismans not all, maybe because, you know, I'm on more uh, psyche and, you know, I'm more receptive to those energies, I think many people are like that. Uh, the talisman, the day I receive your talisman, you know, I suddenly, which I will not know until I go and, you know, look at the courier. Correct. But then I come to know that, you know, suddenly that day is uh, very happy. I know something, I, you know, very uh, euphoric. Right. I feel I've like achieved something. Well, nothing, it's just the same normal day. But then I feel something is coming and you know, I feel great vibes. Okay. And then I get a call from security saying I have passed So, and then I really, you know, it's like, in the first thing, I didn't relate both this. But then this happened, happened constantly. You know, the talisman that you buy, uh, that I buy from you. So, and then, you know, the moment it comes, uh, that same night or the next night, I have a very good dream, which uh, never happened before. Right. And then, during my, you know, uh, my research and uh, uh, more on this talisman, how their energies you know, they work. So, one thing I found is, this is happening because that energy or the deity that you have infused in, that your yogi or, you know, or the high priest, uh, the priest have infused in. Uh, that deity is showing, you know, uh, is trying to get, in, get the attention from me, from the user, anybody for that matter. Tell him, I'll come to your house, I'll take care of your problem. So, this signal or this happening itself is a classic example of how genuine the talisman is. So, what kind of signals? How do you know that it's attracting attention? I know, I get a dream. For example, uh, there is one uh, very, uh, very, very positive subconscious talisman that they bought from me, and okay. the same night I got. Uh, uh, you know, a human body with a snake, uh, you know, the, the lower thing. The tail. Is, yeah, the tail, which is like Adi Sesha. So very, very positive and uh, it, it was just, just looking and smiling at me, you know. It, it was not scary at all because it's a very divine positive energy like Adi Sesha, the bed that Vishnu rests on. And so that, and, and this is one example of, of Sarpa Shakti. And then there is one more Mahalakshmi talisman <laughs> where I bought and in the night I was, the dream was like I was, you know, falling. In the infant of Lord Venkateshwara and then Lakshmi on his lap and then they both have put his ball in on me. Wow. That was fantastic. It is so relating. I got Lakshmi talisman, Lakshmi dream, Sarpa Shakti and then this great Adhisation dream. And not just always the dream, sometimes you know, you get very good news that day. The moment, the day I am going to get or I got the talisman. Right. Uh, you know, some good news from your company or something like this. is just the beginning and that's how it starts telling that, no, I've come here, I've come to help you out. So you keep doing your best, I will take care from behind the scenes. So, it is just awesome experience. Yeah. From the data, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Right. And then, as far as the uh, talisman that worked for me, I've got a lot. Uh, you know, basically to the the course that I have in your life. On this, you know, career growth, obviously. And then uh, in sports, so it's, it's amazing. I, you know, you have talisman for literally uh, every purpose <laughs> yeah. as long as it's critical. You know, so the sports thing because I am not into bodybuilding badminton and cricket player also. So I really need a very healthy and strong body because I my body, you know, uh, 
takes a lot of beating, right. a lot of sports, and so I need a really strong body which you know, you know, should be able to cope me up with all these activities. And definitely, I can see you know, the positive energy and the mindset it gives and changes is just amazing. But you heal faster than before. Exactly, that's one uh, health talisman. Good deal for me because I had a uh, you know a severe shoulder tear right. in my scapula rotator cuff. Because too much of bodybuilding, weightlifting, and then a lot of badminton. So both are different sports. One is aerobic, one another one is anaerobic. The one is more contracting, the other one is more flexible, flexing. You know, so it was so uh, contradicting. But then I love the sports. I had to play. I kept on playing, and then. I think I did too much. Then I tore my uh, scapula. I went to the ortho doctor, and then uh, he took an MRI. And it was a very minor tear, but still it was really itchy me up. So I could not do my daily routines of shoulder presses and many other overhead exercises. I could not do at all, including badminton, badminton for my hand. <coughs> so I took all the medicines. I'm not okay, good. But then because I believe a lot in these, uh, you know, divine thing is superior to any other thing. Then I sought your help for the health talent. Sorry, health talent. So I think that came with it. Beautiful, uh, smelling oil and then an, an, an amulet uh, that has this Dhanvantri and uh, Mahavrti Jaya. Yes. Those two combinations. So it was amazing. Within 15 days, uh, you know, the pain slowly started fading away. And then, and then I started doing more, which is my mistake. Right. But then, uh, you know, I understood. So if God is healing, I have to pay attention, take rest. Slow down. Right. But yeah, now I feel a lot. Now, how it works is the health talisman. It's not a magic. You know, you wear and then you become Superman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, or a Hulk. <laughs> so what it does is it gives you, it, it, it feeds you a lot of sense into your brain, and then it will guide you to the right doctor and the right medicine, right. which you wouldn't have heard otherwise at all. You would have gone to all the you know, foreign doctors here and there, but then for your karma there could be one doctor who is as simple in a simple hat, small right. thing, and he will give a medicine that will work like magic, which we wouldn't know because right. the karmic block doesn't allow us to get access to it. But then this thing breaks through it and then it will lead us to a doctor where I suddenly, you know, I'm traveling in my car and I see a signboard and then I see a doctor and then I just like enter. And that is where I will get the right treatment. It will give a simple medicine and then it just heals. So that's how it works. Not like magically it does everything by itself. But sometimes it does, but majority, you know, how it uh, heals you is to guide you to the right doctor and get you the right medicine. I'm glad you realized that because most people expect some miracle to happen Overnight, and yes, uh, they don't understand that God works through human agencies. Absolutely. And talismans too, they attract the right energies and the right people. Correct, correct. So, uh, coming back to the Sarpa Shakti talisman that you spoke about. So, specifically, uh, like, did you go for it because of the materialistic goals that you had, or uh, just because you have a passion for talismans? Yeah, passion is one thing, but then I cannot keep buying for just for passion. Right? I need to have a purpose. And Sarpa Shakti, I think. Uh, it is fantastic in terms of. Uh, Increasing your luck factor right. and your odds of winning, and you have other wealth talents and also which are the same thing. But this is at a very high grade, which I realized the potential is just enormous. I got the energy I feel when I have, you know, I literally get goosebumps, and then I keep it on my forehead, which is the, in the third eye that you said. Yes. And then we just <coughs> pray to it. And how it works, Sarpa Shakti, is through uh, telepathy. So the, the more daily you keep it on your hand and you keep meditating, so it talks to your energy, which you know. Your mind waves are the one that it captures. Right. So you keep thinking your mind, I need this, I need this, and then it captures the you know our thought waves and then it tries to manifest, it changes the events in a positive way and then make sure it manifests what it wants. And Sarpa Shakti main thing, one of the main thing is it is an all round talisman, that's why even if it's a bit expensive, it's super good then because it serves a lot of purpose. I don't need to buy one for production, one for love, one for uh, you know business or something like that. This just covers a lot of things exactly. You know, main thing is on the share market. Yeah, know, I, uh, I always love to be in that. Uh, you know, though I work on a, under a, a private sector, but that was something I you know, love to do on a part time basis. So I used to do, and uh, I had no idea. And then I was not that successful, but just uh, you know, uh, try and leave kind of. But then after I got this, I really have made quite a handsome in that. Very great. <laughs> How it does is it doesn't just you know. Uh, Breaks the roof and <laughs> we have a windfall. So what it does is again it guides us. You know, intuitively it tells us how much to buy, when to buy, when not to buy, right. and to avoid. So that that is the secret of any share market or trading, gold or silver trading. Right? Correct. People, most of the people fail because they don't try to understand the natural 
Timing is very important. Correct. When it rises, when it falls, how much you buy, and then it should not be greedy. So just you know, if you get twice or thrice, just take it out. So there are a lot of other you know uh, things, mind related factors that people have to work on, which uh, nobody knows, including me. So the street we think okay, we'll put, we'll get the three double or triple. Now there's a lot of uh, uh, you know. Uh, Business acumen and a lot of strategies involved in that, how it works. So the market, the time correct, how the market is, you should know the fluctuation and then bid, buy or sell accordingly. So which is where this guides fantastic. And I think I use this for to increase my you know, odds of winning and, learn, and then I also use to have a, a wealth talisman, which is specifically for this, you know, these kind of games. Right. You know, not not your carry, more like business, you know, share or trading or it can be anything, forex, it can be anything. I use these two combinations so they the combos uh, the deadly. Yeah, for multiple sources of income, we have a whole lot of talismans, and Sarpa Shakti is one of them. One of them. Because uh, Swati used it for his uh, share trading and uh, other sources of income, and it really helped him. Uh, and not just that, I think it also helps one in saving money, so and avoiding unnecessary expenses. Although investing in this is an expense, but it's uh, you should treat it like an investment more than an expense. Correct. See, we need a divine help and we have to spend for it a bit. Nothing will come for free, right? Correct. So I expect I need to shine well in share, then I have to try myself. In that case, you not know, everybody will have a karma to succeed in that automatically. In that case, you need to break through it and then get a second and help, which is from divine. And that has come through talismans. More than this, you know, uh, we have mantras, we have homas, a lot of things. But I think for these kind of things, talismans are the best. Yeah, they're because long lasting because they will be with you. They'll help right. you achieve your goal. Absolutely. We always have it so you feel you have the power in you. At least the placebo effect is super high. It's going to give you a lot of confidence. Absolutely. Yeah, all we have to do is what I don't do anything, no ritual, nothing, because everything you guys take care of. Okay. I just have to honor it. You know, every three days or every five days or daily also, you know, and just just show up. That's all you need and it's going to do magic. Come on. <laughs> that is the least you can do. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, a lot of talismans. So wealth has worked well. For my physical thing, health, Tinji and the non three combination of phenomenal. See that again, when you do the Jabas and Omas, it will sustain for a few months or maybe years if you are very spiritual. Correct, correct. But if you wear a talisman, it's with you forever. Correct, and we have that, like you mentioned, the energy, energizing oil. Yes. So that will sustain the energy for a long time. You always feel connected to it. You are confident that, you know, okay, the God is here. Correct. And then He is there. You know, through, uh, I understand, I think your uh, tantric rituals are so far different and superior to other rituals. They are very fast, very effective. The goal is clear and then you honor it. That's all you need and you can do really wonders. Uh, so the tantra is always fast. Yeah, it's shortcut. Shortcut, <laughs> super fast. Uh, they use lot, the, the methodology itself is completely different. Right. So it's going to appease the gods in a very different and quick way. And, and so it's going to be the result. And I think it will take you tangentially to your goal. Correct, correct. So that is what makes it the shortcut. Absolutely. When you go through the Vedic remedies and the other uh, Puranic remedies, it, it takes its own course, its own course karma, right. and so many other aspects. Correct, correct. And uh, one good thing about Swati is that I didn't really have to educate him on what is Tantra, what is Mantra, what is Vedic, and all that. He was very well versed and he does his own research before calling. So he's, he's not scared of Tantra, and all of them are scared of Swati. That's the biggest problem. You know, the internet is full of misinformation. So, uh, you know, they, they just uh, think Tantra means black magic. Not at all. Tantra is just one part of divine magic. Just like how we have mantra, and then we have yantra, which is, you know, prayer through yantras, the geometrical symbols, divine geometric symbols. Whereas mantra is more chanting, homas, a lot of, you know, a vocal uh, thing to invoke the God and the <coughs> thing. And the third category is Tantra. Tantra is not Mantra, you don't need to spend hours together, you know, doing Japas or anything. It's purely based on the God's created natural terms, which is not easy to get. It's all in the ancient, I think, Atharvan Veda text. Yes. And I think your priests are doing a great job. There are few, uh, when most, or I don't believe, but you, and there are very few who really have access to where you get all these herbs. Which is mentioned in the ancient text, and then the procedure is you have to cut them, you know, uh, on a special titi, nakshatra, the midnight. There are a lot of things involved, so that's why to get it itself is very hard task. Which is why it's really, really powerful. And then you get you do a shuddhi karna, you know, papa, you know, there are a lot of other you know <laughs> things to cleanse the thing and then make it ready to absorb the correct uh, tantric uh, energy that you infuse upon, and then you infuse and then like. It, is, it has always has to be in the same A lot of procedures. 
not just us, but it does a lot of these kind of procedures. Okay. And for some reason, it's, it's really fast and very powerful. Very, very powerful.